to the course of fundamentals of IoT, in short FIoT. In today's class, we are going to learn about existing sensor cloud applications as well as emerging sensor cloud applications. First, let's see existing sensor cloud applications. So there exists a number of services based on sensor cloud infrastructure in order to store and process the sensor based information. Okay. Among which Nimbits is one of them. Nimbits is a free and social service that is uh, it's a platform that is used to record and share the sensor data with respect to cloud. Okay. So it is a cloud based data processing service and it is also an open source platform for Internet of Things. Nimbits also provide an alert management mechanism, data compression mechanism and data calculation uh, based on the data received by the sensor with respect to a simple mathematical formulas. Okay. Next one, now uh, let's like uh, next application is Peshub. Okay. So Peshub uh, platform is one of the first online database service provider, which allows us to connect the sensor data to the web. So right now there are lot many uh, platforms, but initially there was only Peshu uh, platform, which was helping the sensors to directly connect to the web, like using an internet. So it's a real time cloud based platform for IoT, which is scalable in infrastructure that enables us to configure IoT products, like means Internet of Things products and services, store, sharing, as well as they can also discover the real time energy with respect to environment and not only that healthcare sensor data uh, from various buildings okay around us can also be gathered okay so peshub uh, platform is also one of the initial uh, database service providers next comes idg so this application is nothing but a machine to machine platform so it minimizes the barrier in order to build scalable, secure, and cost-effective solution. Okay, so these are mainly used in enterprise applications. Okay, which was very much advantage. So this particular IDG uh, provides all the tools to manage, store, connect, and move the information across these particular enterprises. Now, next, uh, next comes next application comes the ThingSpeak application. This is one of the known and famous application right now we are using okay, for any kind of IoT application. So this is also one of the open source IoT application and it will be having an API uh, in order to store and retrieve the data. Okay, So it uses like LAN or HTTP uh, over the internet in order to access the particular sensor data. Okay, So with this particular uh, platform, location tracking applications, sensor logging applications, and uh, social network with respect to uh, uh, device uh, status can also be created. Okay, So this thing speak allows numeric data processing like averaging, time scaling, rounding, median, summing, and so many numerical as well as alpha, alpha numeric data can also be processed in this thing speak. Now coming to the emerging sensor cloud applications, there are many more advanced and uh, forthcoming uh, sensor uh, cloud applications uh, among which healthcare monitoring is one of the important. So sensor clouds can be used for health monitoring. Suppose there are several places or uh, several patients are there uh, in several different uh, places. Okay, All the patients uh, uh, body parameters can be easily available with the help of sensors. So uh, these variable sensors, we call them as variable sensors where they are varying on the body. So there are sensors like accelerometer sensors, proximity, ambient light and temperature sensors. Okay. So which helps in collecting the patient's health related data. So not only that, we can also track this uh, sleep activity pattern, blood sugar, body temperature, and also respiratory condition. So all these sensor data can also be 
uh, processed through or uh, monitored through the sensor cloud. So healthcare monitoring is one of the emerging sensor cloud application. Next coming to environmental monitoring for emergency as well as disaster de uh, detection. So as the name indicates, we can monitor the environmental as well as uh, any emergency or di uh, disasters can also be detected. So uh, if there is a possibility to detect the earthquake, volcano explosion or eruption, okay? So there are so many kind of sensors can be fixed over there in order to measure the strain, temperature, light, image, sound, acceleration, barometer sensors are used to uh, uh, changes in the temperatures and all those things can also be uh, considered and many more sensors can be uh, used for this kind of uh, monitoring as well as detection which can be uh, which can be falling under the WSM wireless sensor networks okay next application will be telematics so telematics is nothing but it's an uh, it's an sensor cloud uses the telematics in order to uh, deploy for the long transmitting distances. Suppose I want to transmit a particular computerized or digital data for a long distance. So this telematics helps in smooth communication between the systems or the devices without any uh, distortions or interventions. Next comes good health. Good health is nothing but it's a small uh, uh, application. Okay. So, which is a uh, service providing by the Google, okay? So, it provides the personal health information and also it serves as a cloud health data storage, like an app, okay? Uh, you can come across all the Google apps, right? So, that is what we are talking about. Next comes the Microsoft Health Vault. So, this is also, again, uh, like a Google application. Microsoft also launches this particular health vault where uh, Health Vault uh, helps the user to store, gather, and share their health-relevant information. And all the information can also be uh, uh, integrated into the cloud, where uh, based on that, we can see the employee's health, okay? Uh, lab uh, records, equipments, and many more things. On the whole, a Health Vault contains all the related uh, medical related uh, equipments or the medical related things okay can be stored and data can be accessed whenever required next comes the agriculture and irrigation control so there are so many kind of sensors which are used for agriculture as well as uh, irrigation control so these sensors will be like the camera sensors air sensors temperature sensor carbon dioxide concentration sensor soil moisture and many more. All these sensors will be um, uh, connected or uh, integrated into the agriculture or uh, irrigation such that uh, agriculture or the irrigation uh, such that we can get the data time to time or in real time. Next comes the earth observation. So earth observation is also very much important like uh, GPS, weather data. Okay. So all these data based on uh, like satellite uh, communications all these things can be all the data can also be stored okay so in order to process you can also process that particular data analyze the data manage the data and also visualize the data so earth observation with respect to global positioning system or weather all this can be considered in this particular application next comes the transportation and vehicular uh, traffic application. So sensor cloud can also be used for this particular transportation or uh, vehicle. Mostly they are used in uh, vehicle tracking systems, okay, in order to track the uh, current status of the uh, vehicle uh, by integrating GPS, global positioning systems, as well as global system for uh, mobile kind of thing. All these devices can be integrated together uh, with the help of some uh, sensors and this with the help of this, um, all the data can be gathered and be stored in the uh, sensor cloud. Okay, so so using this technique, we can also find out like to identify the current name of the location, to predict the time of arrival, to find the status of a driver whether uh, 
he is uh, drunk or not okay so how much uh, distance has the vehicle cover uh, covered in order to track the level of the fuel all these things comes under this particular uh, vehicle traffic application or transportation applications next comes the tunnel monitoring so there are lots of wireless sensor networks or the wireless sensors which can be fitted into the tunnels or the people or the labor who go get into the tunnels okay like uh, 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 harmful gas detectors okay and so many are there okay in order to save the lives of and uh, people who are working in the tunnels and not only that uh, lights how the lights are working based on the sensors the lights will be on and off all this can be uh, done with the help of the wireless sensors all these wireless sensors can be carried out into the tunnel and fixed into the tunnel and the data time to time can be um, monitored uh, in the particular application or the user interface sitting in an office so next application comes the wildlife monitoring so wildlife monitoring is also one of the interesting thing so the sensor cloud also used to uh, uh, monitor the wildlife uh, sanctuaries forests okay and also regularly monitor the endangered species in real time okay so you can put a camera in the forest or some sanctuaries in order to track the animals okay whatever the animals are doing is there any poachers coming for uh, hunting and all those things can also be all the data can also be gathered and put it in some sort of sensor cloud so these are the emergency emerging uh, technologies with respect to the sensor cloud applications and these we have seen existing as well as emerging.